Hello and welcome to Baiju's exam prep IAS. Welcome to the big news of the day. The topic for today's big news is ozone may be heating the planet. In this short and crisp analysis, we will understand what is ozone and also how ozone can contribute to global warming. So let's begin. See, first the topic is in the news because the research by an international team of scientists which is led by the University of California, Riverside, is published in Nature Climate Change. Nature Climate Change is a peer-reviewed scientific journal published by the Nature Publishing Group. It's a very reputed scientific journal. According to this research, changes to ozone levels in the upper and lower atmosphere have been responsible for almost a third of the warming seen in ocean waters bordering Antarctica. If you look at this map, the study reveals that the ozone levels have warmed these water bodies. Now, before we understand how much they have warmed these water bodies and why this is happening, let's understand what is ozone. See, ozone is a highly reactive gas. It comprises of three molecules of oxygen. How is it created? It's created in the upper atmosphere by the interaction between oxygen molecules and ultraviolet radiation that comes from the sun. You can see here, this is ozone layer. In the lower atmosphere, it forms due to chemical reactions between pollutants. What are those pollutants? Vehicle exhaust fumes and other emissions. So in upper atmosphere, it is formed by the ultraviolet radiation which comes from the sun and the oxygen molecules but the lower atmosphere ozone is formed by due to a chemical reaction between oxygen molecules and the pollutants this entire concentration of ozone is called ozone layer or ozone cover now what is the importance of this ozone layer it protects us from these ultraviolet rays these ultraviolet rays can be dangerous for environment and our health as I'm sure you might be aware, in the 1980s, a hole was discovered in the ozone layer high in the atmosphere over the South Pole. And it was found out that this hole was caused by chlorofluorocarbons. What are chlorofluorocarbons? It's a gas used in industry and consumer products. So this gas had damaged the ozone layer and created a hole. This finding and the potential danger of such finding led to an international agreement called Montreal Protocol. In this treaty, it was agreed that countries have to halt the production of chlorofluorocarbons to protect the ozone layer. Why? Because it is very dangerous for our environment and health. It was a very successful international cooperation. Now coming back to our topic, why is ozone responsible for global warming? See, to understand that, you have to understand the study I mentioned in the beginning. The study says that the southern ocean is warming because of ozone increases in the lower atmosphere. How did this team of researchers find this? They used models to simulate changes in ozone levels in the upper and lower atmosphere between 1955 and 2000. And what did these simulations show? They showed a decrease in ozone in the upper atmosphere. Remember, in the upper atmosphere, ozone is formed due to interaction between oxygen molecules and the ultraviolet rays coming from the sun. So they found a decrease in that level. But they found an increase in the lower at atmosphere. Both these changes contributed to the warming in the ocean. How much warming did it create? They said alone the increase in ozone in the lower atmosphere 
caused 60% of the overall ozone induced warming seen in the southern ocean over the period that is 1955 to 2000 now the question is why did it happen how can it contribute to global warming see changes in the ozone concentrations in the atmosphere affect the westerly winds in the southern hemisphere they also cause contrasting levels of salt and temperature towards the surface in the southern ocean now both of these affect ocean currents in distinct ways thereby they affect the ability of the ocean to take up heat in other words as these ozone concentrations warm up the oceans around the Ant antarctica they damage the cooling mechanism of the earth now what does that mean as you know oceans are carbon sink what does that mean that is they trap carbon dioxide and absorb the heat of the earth thereby regulate its temperature now as these ozone concentrations already heat up these oceans thereby they prevent these cooling mechanisms from regulating the temperature of the earth in other words they are contributing to the global warming as you might be aware that there is already lot of study that global warming is caused by man made activities that humans are a factor when it comes to the rise in temperature of the earth and there are a lot of international negotiations on how to control global warming by decreasing the output of carbon dioxide now this study is an addition to those efforts it reveals that we have to reduce our pollution levels in order to decrease ozone concentration in the lower atmosphere so that they do not affect temperature of the oceans around antarctica and thereby prevent warming of those water bodies and also the overall global temperature with this i would like to end this discussion hope you enjoyed watching this video do let's know by by liking it by sharing it with others also don't forget to subscribe to the channel thanks for watching